Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another week of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 4 Diamond is Unbreakable. Ha! Man! Oh my god, like... Again, like, this series is just going so hard, to be honest. Like, this is honestly my favorite anime of 2016 so far. Um, holy shit, like... Oh, just everything that was going down, like... It, it's not my favorite JoJo's Bizarre Adventure episode. I, I'm, I'm repeating myself when I say these things, but it's still a really, really strong one. Enough fanboying, regardless. Um, just, just get into the overview. The episode starts off where last week's episode ended, and that is with the the tailor basically getting murdered by Yoshikari Kira as he's taking his jacket away. Um, Koichi obviously wants to go after him, but Jotaro d decides that it's better not to do that in case, in case, um, he might have another trick up his sleeve with a stand. And we notice the little tank running around, um, we find out that its name in the anime is Heart Attack Killer Queen's, um, Deadly Queen's, uh, Heart Attack, even though in the manga, the original translation, uh, the original name for the for the stand is Killer Queen and the original name for the attack which is part of its stand um, it's called Sheer Heart Attack and it was like just Jotaro being like an in a good strategic reasonable person being like don't overdo it don't like chill out Tell, let him let him run off like we know some things about him now thanks to due to the fact that uh, that we saw his jacket the type of shit that he wears how expensive it is that he's most likely single because if he had a wife she'd probably be like helping help him out in suing the the thing herself um and like Jotaro just gets all these facts out out of just viewing the jacket, so he's trying to be strategic with this, and at the same time trying to avoid anyone from getting hurt. Even though like we saw that like that Taylor straight up got fucked up, and he ain't coming back. Um, so Koichi takes this like Jotaro's warnings as as Jotaro underestimating Koichi and and Echoes. So it comes to the point where where. Jotaro legit tells Koichi like don't 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 send your stand out to chase him like stick with your stand in case anything happens to which Koichi just doesn't des decides not to listen to him and when he goes high up he notices that the that that Kira is rather far away and despite the fact that Echoes can go above up, up to like 20 kilometers I think or about 20 miles I don't know what, what I read um the radius is from him, from Kira being able to control um, sheer heart attack. It's a lot further, a lot farther than um, than Koichi's uh, echoes, and this is what surprises Koichi the most: the fact that the stand is still that freaking strong while Kira is so far away. And I love just like little details, just in this animation, like. Uh, like the sign appearing on Kira's hand, like the stand, the stand energy, because sheer heart attack it does. If you didn't know or didn't notice, sheer heart attack does pop out of Killer Queen's um, glove. So it's it's a tank that basically situates on on top of like um, Killer Queen's glove. So I love the fact that it's just like embodied on him and the energy. That's pretty cool. And thus. Koichi because he's like straight up panicking because he knows he's like wow like what the hell do we do with this guy he's far away he's controlling this powerful stand and he's cool he's getting pumped up he's getting nervous and Jotaro like grabs like tells Koichi like get the like be careful because you're far away from me right now even if I use the world like I'm not going to I'm not going to be able to reach you on time and as he notices sheer heart attack like straight up diving towards Koichi, Jotaro picks up a piece of wood somewhere around the area. Um, he uses the world to stop time. Um, he creates, he prepares the wood to to for a, com a fire combustion, and we find out that apparently 
the thing with Shiro Heart Attack, and that's kind of like its power or the way it works, is the fact that it searches for the hottest object around. And because Koichi was getting so pumped up and worked up, his blood pressure was boiling up. Um, Shiro Heart Attack noticed it and like dove for him, but the moment he noticed like the straight of fire that that Joshua created, then it went for him. Um, and then you get uh, this great shot of like he, sheer heart attack exploding, Jotaro straight up getting fucked up, and Koichi panicking. I guess that's the only nitpick that I would say about this episode, and that's that was my issue with Koichi in the manga as well, like him just constantly yelling and being like, "Oh my god, no, Jotaro!" Like uh, that kind of annoys me in general with series in all series in general. And um, yeah. As Koichi's dragging the uh, dragging Jotaro to the back, somewhere safer, um, he tries to find like a stove or something he can pop on, like turn on, so that um, so that it would, so that so that they could have a diversion for them to get away, and it comes to this really cool moment and really well thought out strategy of Koichi just using um, Echo's Act Two to. Um, create the hot effect he creates the world the word hot and places it like um as he would explain like a carrot on a mule um on top of sheer heart attack so sheer heart attack straight up running in circles trying to catch the the heat source uh which is pretty cool really well thought out i absolutely loved it and there comes to just to the point where the freaking the freaking tag explodes or some shit like that and Koichi and Jotaro straight up dive off but because and I love this consistency in the stand rule because the bubble was basically on sheer heart attack and took uh, part of the explosion Koichi also got damaged um, I love that they're respecting the rules Jojo has a tendency to ignore certain ones um, or go around some so that was a huge plus for me and then Koichi notices like 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 she he asks himself like where is Act Two because right now like I don't see him anywhere and like I need him right now, um and he he didn't get blown up with the explosion because otherwise I would be dead myself, so he notices like a shell he concludes that it's obviously that it happened before so obviously Act um, Act Two is evolving to something new we get introduced to Act Three which is a very very interesting thing in my opinion. Um, it's the evolution because Koichi is one of those characters who I think he's maybe one of the only characters who, who one of the only characters keep my word like listen to what I'm saying that's uh, whose stand evolves and Echoes Act 3 the third version of Echoes um, I didn't quite understand his abilities in the manga other than the rather limited move that he does and that is the one that he uses to stop sheer heart attack and that is like just like this gravitational pull towards the ground and um so i i mean i, I guess I, I guess maybe maybe we'll get his uh his his abilities further explained towards the future but i didn't really uh, remember too much from the manga myself but what we get in this episode he he straight up like gives like not really karate shots but like like points at, at um, a sheer heart attack and it's not working he's not stopping him but then he tells koichi like no i stopped him and boom gravitational pull down to the earth and that really really cool moment of kira just drinking coffee and then just crush like his hand being crushed to the ground um and you got to keep in mind like Kira's not one to want to drag too much attention towards himself make look any anything look weird so the fact that Koichi just managed to fuck him up that much um it's going to create certainly some 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 fuss between him between Koichi and Kira like Kira is going to be particularly after him right now for that. Um, so that was like, just, I just love that scene of him grabbing the coffee and just everything breaking down, and then just him pulling on the on the waiter's shirt by accident, and just and the waiter just asking like, like, sir, why are you doing this to me? Um, uh, man, overall, great, great, great episode. Um, can't complain too much. It's just. 
one thing I do have to bring up though is the fact that Echoes Act Three does start, does seem to have a little bit of a mind of its own, and eventually when we get to the Requiem um, stance, which is something that I'm not going to spoil, but an, an interesting term that you as an anime only viewer should keep in mind. Um, eventually, as we get to the, towards the Requiem stance, uh, I feel that that Koichi, despite not having really I don't think at least that this, this can be considered a requiem stem, but it thinks it has a mind of its own to a certain degree, and that is a really interesting thing because it's again something new that we're getting introduced to us about stands, um, them being having a mind of their own and, commu and legit communicating with the stand user. I think um, Akira, the Red Hot Chili Pepper user, um, I think he, because he, the Stan wasn't thinking on his own. It was speaking from Kira's behalf, but he didn't have a mind of its own. And, excuse me, Echoes Act 3, like, is legit having a conversation with Koichi. So, it's something to keep in mind. It's something interesting to, to pay attention to for a while, at least, because we're going to see some parallels with with this kind of thing in the future and i really just want you guys to not just brush it off like oh koishi oh so everyone's gonna have it not don't think about it that way think about it more of like this is pretty cool it'd be interesting to see it again um with a different character and i'm not particularly talking about this part but i'm just talking about in general uh, for the jojo series and now to go into the three points that I talk about in every episode that is animation, pacing, and value to the overall plot. Animation, top notch, can't complain. There were like when Koichi got mad and like he got this Gohan feeling, like uh, his face didn't look as recognizable as, as always, but regardless, animation was straight up almost perfect, like almost like 98% of the time perfect. Um, pacing, absolutely well paced, well done fight. Uh, Ballad to the overall plot, we get to know uh, Kira's attack, sheer heart attack, and what it does. We have a uh, development in, in Koichi's uh, stance. Echoes, we are now in Echoes Act 3. And um, and I just have to point, point it out, before I end this video, I just have to point out how much I just absolutely love seeing Jotaro using the world. It would have been one of those situations where, I mean... Technically, the moment that that Jotaro saw the hand reaching for the jacket, he could have straight up used the world. But but listening from the way he was talking in this episode, it seems like he's trying to avoid using it as much as possible for some reason. Um, I think because I think his phrasing was, "I hate to resource to this" or something like that. So I don't know what that means. I don't know whether Jotaro is trying to oppress the world or something like that. But whatever. Um, oh yeah, and. I think I was spoke in my earlier reviews about um, Koichi using Echoes as, you know, Koichi being inspired by Gohan and Dragon Ball Z and, and Echoes being inspired by Cell, Cell Design. So yeah, Cell's Design, Cell had three transformations if I'm not mistaken, um, yep. And um, Echoes has those three transformations, he had the similar design elements, although the white does look really good on this stand. And Koichi being an inspired by Gohan, absolutely, like, uh, you, could, you could see it quite clearly. Regardless, my name is CLPOB. If you like this overview, hit the like button down below. Hit, like, just comment down below what you thought about this episode. Did you enjoy uh, Jotaro using the Star Platinum of the World? Did you enjoy Koichi's new uh, Echoes evolution? What do you think of Sheer Heart Attack, um, its ability? It's... It got introduced to us very quickly, very powerful, but I absolutely loved them. I absolutely love what they're doing with Kira and and um, Killer Queen. Regardless, I guess I'll see you guys next week. Thank you for watching very much, and have a good week. For you Americans, um, enjoy your Labor Day tomorrow. Bye.